Now, the city of Knoxville taking the next step toward a $27 million project to make changes to Washington Pike. You know, last night the city held a public meeting to discuss the plans with the community and property owners along the road that may be affected. As we told you at 11, the project will cover a mile and a half section of Washington Pike between I-640 and Murphy Road. Six on your side reporter Ella Wales found out the timeline for the project and what steps must be taken before construction can even begin. She joins us now live in the studio with more. Ella. Bo, Don, the project aims to decrease traffic and increase safety in the area, but it may be several years before we see the end result. Actually, there has been more accidents in the past year in this area that I've noticed. Tammy Ailey drives down Washington Pike several times a week to pick up her granddaughter. She's noticed traffic and crashes becoming more prevalent over time. It's pretty heavy during the morning time when a lot of people is commuting to work, kids going to school, it gets pretty heavy and it backs up. The city's Washington Pike Road project aims to fix those problems with road modifications. Additional lanes, turn lanes, um, a greenway on one side of the road and the sidewalk on the other side of the road. These additions also hoping to lessen the frequency of car wrecks. Based on the traffic data, we're getting crashes about one every four days and 20% of those crashes are severe where there's an injury. Washington Pike will remain five lanes from Greenway Drive to New Harvest Lane where it will turn into three lanes. It will then expand back to five lanes, including a turn lane at Steeple Shadow Way, all the way to city limits at Murphy Road. The widening of the road is the biggest part of the project, but also comes with the most obstacles. There's about 50 parcels that need some form of acquisition from the property for the project widening. It's on both sides of the road. These are generally small slivers of property along the front. Um, because there's so many properties, it's going to take 18 to 24 months to complete all of those acquisitions. If your property is affected by the project, you should have already received a letter of notice. The city is using an acquisition consultant firm, which will oversee appraisals and make offers to property owners. All right, Ella, thank you. By the way, it's expected that construction on the project will begin in about three years.